Hi, let's play a game of Artifact Guesser. Okay, going right into it, pretty nondescript piece of metal, a metal cup. I really love this, this shape right here. Um, it's not the highest quality stuff. Uh, you know, a few imperfections. So I'm, I'm going to immediately guess a little bit it's like kind of I think it's kind of colonial era and this kind of stuff it's kind of middle work has generally been either UK or United States colonial um, I'm just gonna go United States just because because this is uh, all of the data right now in artifact guesser is from the Met uh, Metropolitan Museum in New York so they they have a lot more American stuff just because they're in the US um, than British stuff, so it's usually a good bet to do the U.S. and um, yeah, let's just do kind of uh, you know it could it could be in the seven late seventeen hundreds or any time the eighteen hundreds. So I'm just gonna kind of go somewhere in between eighteen twenty one sounds good. Let's guess it. All right, yeah, was uh, colloquial United States, uh, but I think our guess was close enough. We got ninety two points. If I got it perfectly within the time range it shows right here. We've gotten 100 points, but I'm a little bit off, so but it still gives me gives me partial credit. Um, and so you can see here, let's look at some related artifacts. Um, yeah, a bunch of metalware. So you can see, we, um, which I don't I don't know what these things are. It's an an and iron. Let's see what the Met has to say about it. An and iron, huh? It's an and iron. Iron. It's a fire dog. It's a bracket support. Oh, it's for logs in the fireplace. Huh. Neat. Okay. Got a bunch of fancy ways to hold logs. That's always nice. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. See some more. Some more. It's maybe uh, yeah, a little teapot. So a bunch of related stuff. But anyway, let's get back to the game. Uh, off to a good start. Let's try the next artifact. Uh, I'm gonna load it in. Here we go. Okay, immediately. Uh, Asian motif. This looks Chinese to me, just off the bat. Um, though these things always could be Japanese. Uh, it's, it's always a little bit of a top up. Sometimes it's a little obvious. Prints usually Japanese. There's just a lot of, a lot of prints. They've always like drawing things. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm just going to guess there's a lot of kind of later kind of 1800s stuff uh, Chinese stuff um, that just uh, I'm just gonna guess that um, okay okay we got close we got close again yep this was China this 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 symbol right here just looks very Chinese to me so that makes sense Okay, okay, um, yeah, immediately, well, Chinese, right, but in this kind of folio on paper, oh, see, this is a, this is a great artifact to come up, uh, whole, a whole book, this is always a treat, uh, a lot of images there, so, you know, it looks extremely Chinese, but this stuff can be deceptive, you know, because it's just like, especially, eh, in, in earlier historical periods, uh, you know, if this is like the early medieval uh, time period, you know, like, there's just so much Chinese influence in Japan that you'll just get stuff that like, oh, this is obviously Japanese. No, 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 no. It's Japan, Japanese, you know. But the, this dragon, it's just so, and then, I mean, this even looks like a lantern. I mean, this kind of looks like, you know, it looks ancient, but it also could just be, it could be modern, but, uh, you know, because a lot of these ancient forms of art were preserved for a very long time. Uh, so modern as in kind of 1800s, so just relatively modern. Um, yeah, this is super Chinese. So I mean, I think we can go China pretty, it'd be silly not to go China on this. Um, you know, the script just sometimes throws me on this. It looks kind of like kanji, but it's, I still, I mean, I think anybody who has, <laughs> Even a, a somewhat 
Uh, look, this is this is like Dragon Ball Z, right? <laughs> All in a cloud. Um, anybody with a passing familiarity of uh, Asian scripts would know the difference, but I, I'm pretty bad at it. Um, but yeah, this is just, you know, yeah, it's just classic Chinese uh, warriors. Uh, you know, I just think I can go... I, th I think some things tell me it's a little bit more recent, but also pretty ancient. Is the, the sages, probably Confucian. Um, I'm just gonna go 1600s. I'm probably just gonna be off. It's probably something eight, either 18. Usually it's either 18 or it's it's medieval. So I'm probably just screwing myself by going 1600s. But oh, oh wow, oh wow, <laughs> that's pretty. Close. Wow. Okay. Well, cool. All right. Um, amazing. I am going to favor this one because this is just this is a very cool, this is just a very beautiful artifact. Um, all right. Let's do the next artifact. Uh, very good round so far. All right. This could even. I mean, I probably shouldn't jinx it, but this this could even get me into a high score. But let's see. Um, Okay, obviously English speaking. Again, some silverware. This is very fancy. <laughs> this is Zeus, I would think, with an eagle. I mean, yeah, very neoclassical, very gaudy. Um, gaudy, you want to go United States uh, a lot of the time. Also, just there's a lot of the United States. As I said, Matt has the United States stuff. Also, just Americans are, are, are fancy. They like to go go fancy on stuff especially in the 1800s it's just like everything was just as much frills as much decoration as you can get um, but, but very classically inspired I just think you can you could even go 1900s with this I think we're going to hedge somewhere in, in mid 1800s because it's going to be 1700s but it's just 1800s we just had a lot of this fancy fancy silverware um, look it's like like hills right here I mean it's just like so many fun little details it's just fun to look at like got some grapes down here stand on some some grapes great feet good stuff um, you know you, oh, you look you can put stuff in here look this, this opens up I mean so much fun this thing okay let's hedge that bet oh oops uh, yep there we go ah, on the money right there almost almost the exact year and these can be hard ones when it's a when it's just a single year when they know the exact date you know <laughs> i should have just taken a look at this it just says 1850 right here um yeah always check if it actually just says the date on something or and the place new york 1850 that should have made it easy for me i just straight up just you know didn't read the text but you know it's with several where this this is, was a pretty safe bet anyway um Ah, man, like, luckily they threw myself for it. Okay, ah, uh, medieval stucco fragment. Ah, uh, this was always hard. This could be Egypt or Iran. Luckily, they're kind of close. So usually you get some points if you're off. Um, Islamic, right? So immediately we can go after 600. Usually you don't see that much Islamic stuff from right around 600, obviously. It took a little while for the spread. So we can usually hedge a bet of around, you know, really start spreading around, like... Uh, 800 uh, really, really took off so you know 900 is a good bet because you get 800 to 1100 and you just get this golden age you just get so many artifacts um the nation of four again we're gonna i'm gonna go nation for excavations this could be egypt and that has a ton of egyptian stuff uh, egypt is like the default if and you just like can't recognize something just go egypt um because it just there's just a lot of egyptian stuff uh there's been an intense ant antiquarian interest in uh, Egypt yeah, and met as you know very old institution from the 1800s I believe right anyway uh, they have a lot of Egyptians so but uh, we were earlier just looking at um, stuff from Nishapur there's just all these like little fragments uh, where I think they just took like the you know something they found on the ground or just excavated and see a little fragment of something that has has a wonderful little motif on it, a uh, little swirly of the flower, um, and even some writing on it. Uh, so maybe it was the base of a cup or so, or a bowl or something like that, um, and yeah, just wanted to preserve it. So 
Let's give it a guess. Ah, man, such a good round that could have that could have gotten me the high score, and no, it wasn't Nishapur, it wasn't Iran, it was Egypt. This has happened to me so many times. I'm just like, it just ends up being Egypt. And it wasn't even that close on the time period. Later medieval. Oh, too bad. It's still a very good score, and that just shows you how close I got. I mean, I've my high score is like 857, I believe, right now. So I, I got close to the high score, even getting one completely off. So that would have this would have been like. Possibly one of the best scores. Possibly would have gotten me over nine hundred if I if I guessed Egypt, which is disappointing. But that's how it goes. Anyway, let's do the game summary. Yep. So here we go. Yeah, eight. Yeah, eight fifty three is my high score right now. This is the highest score in the game right now because um, uh, not because I'm a good player, but because I am the only player. Uh, essentially, other than a few friends who have uh, who have uh, played around with it, but. Um, yeah, see, amazing game. Probably one of my best games up until the last little bit. But, you know, that's how it goes. We, great game. We found this amazing artifact. Just love this artifact. Happy that we favorited it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's all practice. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll have a lucky round. A lot of times it's just luck, you know, uh, you get some get some good guesses in, but sometimes, you know, you just get these curveballs, but uh, hopefully I'll get a lucky round where I just get, get stuff, make good guesses, um, get a good score, but um, yeah, it's today's game of Artifact Guesser. Uh, it's at artifactguesser.com, I uh, just recently built it, um, as of right now it is uh, Unreleased, but I'm probably going to be releasing it uh, and posting about it pretty soon. Uh, but please check it out at artifactguesser.com and, um, you know, hope you guys enjoy the game. Have a good one.